Hi guys, long time no see. I honestly took a little break from YouTube because first of all, I'm already out of video ideas, which is bad. Actually, I have tons of video ideas, but they're not videos that I could upload right now. I mean, I have things that are more at the end of the summer, more Christmas. No, just kidding. I don't know. I was not feeling it. Also, I was in a little bit of a, how do you call that? A rut? Is that a word? I don't want people to hear me talking to myself in English. I'm Dutch, so that would be weird. Anyways, I've been feeling a little under the weather because of everything that's been happening in the US, obviously with George Floyd, which sparked so many protests and basically the Black Lives Matter movement, which was obviously already there, but it just came back alive. I mean, everyone around the world realized this is not a moment, it's a movement. Um, even here in the Netherlands we had some protests, I went to one and it was really nice to, I don't know, I've always been quite hesitant to speak out on subjects like inequality and racism and I'm just, I've decided I'm not gonna do that anymore, I'm sick and tired of that. So I'm gonna speak up from now on. In this video I'm not gonna talk about that I think because I don't want to make this video too negative. Um, we are all watching the news, we're all scrolling through Twitter and Instagram. It's it's really draining, you want to keep up. So we're not going to do that. We're going to talk about something else, I guess. I haven't really thought this video through, but I'm going to film a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to a birthday party. In the Netherlands, there's quite some looser restrictions now. That's not English, I think. But <laughs> um, you're allowed to have, I think, 10 people over now? Or there's no limit anymore. And there was only three or something? Whatever. So, uh, not last week, but the week before, I had three birthdays in one weekend. This weekend I have two. I'm going to my second round right now from one of my best friends, Sonne. And next week I have another one. So, we're just getting ready. I like to put on some makeup and I like to, you know, talk to you guys. I love to listen to music when I'm getting ready, but now we're just gonna talk, I guess. Even though I still don't know where I'm talking about. Honestly, my makeup routine hasn't changed over the past seven years, so I'm sorry about that. I don't wear foundation or concealer but my skincare stuff is already on my face. And the first thing I use is this eyeshadow primer that is amazing. It's from Essence. It's called I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I've used this for years and years and years and so many of my friends do too. It's amazing. Once I was putting this on and my mom was just like what is that? She doesn't know much about makeup. Neither do I to be honest because I don't know I do like applying makeup but honestly I also love not wearing makeup um, I used to always wear makeup during my uni years I thought I don't know I was literally scared to go outside without makeup which is stupid and in the last few years I've not been wearing makeup at all and I'm just like fine with it so good step now I'm gonna put on eyeshadow my eyeshadow stays this is a little plastic bag. <laughs> I've also used this eyeshadow for years and years and years. I've always bought this again and again, but I don't think they sell it anymore, which is really sad. It's from Essence as well, super cheap. I don't know what this name is. I think it had to do something with party. It looks like this at the moment. So that's pen, a lot of pen. I just actually found this in my room. I realized I've never used any of these brushes. <coughs> Sorry, none of them. So, I should. What is an eyeshadow brush though? This looks quite good. So, how are you guys doing? Are you still doing good during... I don't know, I know it's um, all the quarantine stuff is ever different all around the world. In the Netherlands, it's not that strict. We have an intellectual lockdown. So, we had a few restrictions for about two months. That's a good... Uh, is it a good brush? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now, those two months have passed. A lot more stuff is allowed, a lot more stuff is open. I remember very vividly the 15th of June, uh, no, March, is when basically at 6 p.m. they, the government said, okay, all re restaurants need to close, which was kind of shitty for the people who are ordering their food and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they had to close right away and they were closed for about two and a half months or so. So was my work. It's been weird not having to go to work, um, but I finally started going back. I work at a pasta to go place, so it could have been open. It's not officially like a restaurant, you don't sit down there, but because 
all the trains were also restricted. There was literally no passengers and no travelers and I work at the train station. I didn't even say that. So there was no need in being open. No one missed us. But we're back at work and I'm really excited about it. Even though it's still so dead. But yeah, this is my favorite eyeshadow. I think this will look good on literally everyone. Oh, also I'm just doing this for myself. I'm no uh, beauty guru or whatever. I just like putting on makeup whenever I have something going on. I don't actually take my tips as anything. <laughs> okay, I got that on. Looks like this. I can hear my roommates talking. It's annoying me. Where's my other brush? What the heck? Found it. I'm using a blend, blend uh, brush. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm using this palette called W7 in the Buff. It's a dupe from one of the Naked uh, palettes. It only was like seven euros. Natural Nudes by Color Palette. I've also had this one for years. And as you can tell, I pretty much only use that one, <laughs> which is the color Thunder. And I use that to put it in my corners, the corners of my eyes. This can be intense. I don't want to make it too dark. I'm not going to go out because that's not allowed. I do miss going out. Um, last week I actually went to a bar, <coughs> which they are open again, but you basically have to be standing in your own little corner. Or you have to be sitting actually. And you're only allowed, I think, three or four people per table. And then you just have to be in your little area. It's nice to still be able to go somewhere with some music and some drinks and you can play games over there, which you obviously you can do at home as well, but it's different. I guess that might be the new way of going out in 2020. <laughs> this eye looks good. Do I look weird? I'm sorry if you hear any weird music. I think my roommates are kind of having a party. I don't know. I'm now gonna put on some eyeliner. I like to make a little bit of a wing situation. Eyeliner, can I either make it or break it? And most of the times it's break it for me. <laughs> but I'm using the one from Kiko Milano and it's called the Ultimate Pen Long Wear, Long Wear Eyeliner. I like the pens. I'm not too good with liquid eyeliner. <laughs> I'm also not sure how to do this on camera. Ta -da. This one looks decent, but now I'm gonna go on to the other one and it's probably not gonna be symmetrical at all. So don't judge me. I don't understand how people do that. I've seen this girl on TikTok and she literally does done perfect wing. How? I would put that on my resume because that's insane. Okay. I messed up this eye a little because I heard my roommate walk up the stairs and I was like <laughs> And then I dropped my eyeliner on the floor. A Q tip is your best friend. So much going on in this house. <clears throat> okay, good enough. Definitely not symmetrical, but that's fine. <clears throat> <laughs> Why is my throat so dry? Is this corona? Literally every time I cough or sneeze I think this is it. I'm getting taken by Miss Rona. Cheers. My pre-drinking of today. Do I need to be stressed? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, so my mascara has changed a little over the years. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I know, very scandalous. I've heard about this mascara for years and years, but it's more than 20 euros, which is ridiculous. Um, I really like it, but I do think a lot of liquid gets on the brush. I always scoop it off a little because I don't want to have those clumpy spider <laughs> legs. I hate spiders. But I was gonna ask you something and then I completely forgot. I have a question. What is one thing that the corona situation has ruined the most about? Uh, yeah, for you. And obviously that could be people around you getting it and even dying which is horrible. For me and my friends, luckily no one knows someone who did have it or did... I can't talk. Is there anything in particular that you were looking forward to that got cancelled? For me it was a few things actually. I was supposed to go visit one of my best friends in Portsmouth. Obviously that got cancelled. I was also supposed to go to Lisbon with one of my best friends and a few events that I was really excited about which one was a wedding obviously the people that are getting married are actually very sad as well um oh, Jesus why am I so clumsy I was supposed to see Harry Styles in concert and I was really excited about King's Day this year because I think I would have gotten the day off those were a few oh and Liberation Day 
it would have been nice. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I'm using another mascara on the bottom lashes. This is also from Essence Maximum Definition Volume Mascara. This is one of the best mascaras and it's like less than 3 euros, so that's amazing. I remember when I lived in the US, mascaras were so much cheaper over there. Those purple Maybelline Rocket mascaras are 16 euros over there and they're, I think they were 6 dollars which is less than 6 euros. I do miss living in the US but then I see all the shit that's been going on and has always been going on and then I realize how lucky I am, blessed I am to not live there. I'm very sorry, I do like your country but I also think there's a lot that is messed up. Every country is messed up a bit probably but uh, yeah. This video is gonna go all over the place because now I'm gonna talk about how I really should get a job. I graduated with the most horrible timing. I graduated in February and then Corona came here at the end of February, I guess. And I studied tourism management. Obviously, there's no jobs in tourism at the moment. All of my friends are get literally getting fired. So that sucks, but <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I do have a job now, but it's not paying me enough. And I actually did, wanted to go back to Barcelona where I did my internship and thought I could work there again by the end of August or something, but then Corona. So now I'm just kind of not sure what to do. Yesterday I attended the birthday party of one of my other best friends. <laughs> I have so many best friends. His name is Teun. He lives in Utrecht, also known as Little Morocco. That's not true. One time there was like this terrorist attack basically in Utrecht and Katie Hopkins for some reason decided to catch the train to the Netherlands and said I'm here in Utrecht also known as Little Morocco which is not true, no one calls it that but she's a racist prick. Anyways, what was I saying? I was in Utrecht and I realized how much I made for a city. I need to live in the city and I, I do live in a city now but it's quite small and cute and nice but i've always thought about moving to amsterdam and now i'm also thinking about moving to utrecht or obviously barcelona which are all big cities and i don't know what to do with my life it's fine though the eyes are done i'm not even putting that much effort into this because i'm just seeing my friends i'm not seeing cute guys or anything <laughs> i'm gonna put on some plush which has also changed over the years. I actually got this from one of my best friends, Romy. This is from Benefit, the Chasha tint, which I'm not sure if we sell. Yeah, we do sell Benefit in the Netherlands, which is also super expensive. So, and she actually gave it to me because she didn't use it, which is amazing. Really love this stuff. It's just very natural, I guess. Sometimes I accidentally put too much on. You can't tell until like a few moments later that it's too much. Well, with regular blush, you could tell immediately, I feel like. <laughs> oh, this is too much, I think. I have such a butt chin. Cheeks. Great. I think I'm gonna put on some highlighter, because why the heck not? I'm using the Elf, sorry for blinding you. I'm using Elf's Heart Defensor, the YouTuber. Um, her highlighter, which is, it's called cookies and cream or something? Oh, coffee and cream. It's really pretty. Look at that. I'm gonna use this side, which is probably coffee. <laughs> and I'm using this brush. Um, Romy actually bought this for me when she was in New York. Because we don't, do we have Elf over here? I think we do, but this probably didn't ship to the Netherlands. We're so deprived. <laughs> We're not. I haven't put on highlighter in a while, so I'm not sure how to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. That looks so stupid. Mm. Little bit on the nose. Not sure how to feel about this, but I'm not even gonna bother. I am not bothering at all. The last step. What was that? I think that was just a ladybug, actually. My final step is putting on some thing on my lips. Um, this is the Bird's Beast Tinted Lip Balm in the color Red Dahlia. I really like this because it's moisturizing, but it also has a tint. It smells nice, doesn't it? There we go. I like it. This is my finished look. I feel like I could have talked about something for way longer. I do like talking to a camera because, <laughs> I don't know, it's just nice. No one is getting in your comfort zone and there's no discussion. I'm talking and there's no confrontation, which I hate. 
but um yeah if you have any video ideas or anything like that please let me know in the comments um i'm gonna go to this birthday so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe it's completely free and i'll see you in my next one <laughs>